G'day team, welcome back to the bunker. Today following on from the um, 15 reds, we're going to be doing some open table practice, uh, continuing to free up that cue arm, getting the potting angles going and um, playing a little bit of position here and there. So um, I've started out by taking the difficult red like I normally do. Get onto the black nicely and a nice little screw shot there up for that next red. Going to um, play just above stun, just a slight bit of follow through off the bottom cush here. Probably could have played it a little bit lower on the cue ball actually and been a bit closer to the black would have helped but uh, fairly comfortable shot here still get your hand on the table it's the main thing so I'll be looking to stun off the bottom cushion back up into the reds should give me a choice of reds I was playing for about three reds there so um, yeah plenty of choices there I actually could have ended up better really um, I've ended up having to bridge sort of over the top of the pink and that red made it a little bit awkward so a little bit precarious here I just follow it. just a little bit of follow through just very gently just to naturally roll the ball up for the blue pretty happy there Let me know whether you like these sort of uh, open table head cam breaks. Um, I'll put in a few games as well. Um, just to give you sort of the player's view of the table, where I'm hitting the ball. I ended up pretty straight on that blue, so I didn't have much angle, so I was pretty happy to come off there and have a shot on the red. Hopefully in the next few weeks I'll be able to get... Uh, few bit, bit better breaks going. Still struggling a little bit. Potting's come along actually just in, in a week. It's amazing how much it can come back to you. It's a bit of practice but um, still battling a wee bit with position. That's a nice wee shot there. Got myself on the brown. Good little angle to get over onto that red at the top of the table there. just have to think about it a little bit more when you're playing onto one red rather than a, a choice of reds so a little bit of screw here just below centre come across that red nicely good little tip there when you're practicing too is to make sure that you do some practice up around the um, the yellow, brown and the green because um, even though <laughs> it's the same table you, part of, you, know, you just get used to um, being down around the pink and the black all the time you tend to neglect them nice wee screw shot here backing off, off the cush wanted to make sure I didn't get tied up on the cush if, if possible Once again, it just makes it so much easier if you can get your hand on the table. Pretty much dead straight here on this brown. So I need to cue nice and straight with a good screw shot. I actually got into it better than I thought. And I've got a bit close to the cush. Could have done with being a few inches back the uh, back towards the brown there. 
So really important to, to queue up in the center of the white when you're on the side of the table like this. And queue nice and smoothly. Plenty of chalk. That was dead straight, so I was very happy with that. Nice straight queuing. So it's left me another shot on the brown. So what I want to do here is come off the top cush, back down for this red. Pretty much playing a stun shot here. Just a nice smooth follow through. Come around the back of the yellow, couldn't have been more perfect really. Pretty happy with that one. So I think there's some good signs here. I tend to um, just get going and then I sort of break down, but um, hopefully, with a little bit more practice, it'll happen less and less. Now this was a bad positional shot. I come down the table for the blue, just um, didn't get into it, sort of ran out of steam. Probably should have hit more stun that I put, I put a little bit instead of the screw that I put on it. Still not bad, but um, I wanted to play for this red back into the middle here. I'm not going to be able to now. Now this is tricky, you uh, have to have a pretty good think about this. I thought about taking that red across into the middle and going down for the black. In retrospect it might have actually been not a bad shot. But I decided to take this easier red and um, screw back onto the pink and knock the pink back a little bit so that I'd have a shot into the near side pocket. Just sort of trying to visualise the shot in my head. I don't know whether it was the right shot to take. I guess it was. Oh yeah. It almost works how I plan it, so maybe it was. Let me know what shot you would have taken in the uh, same situation. Alright, I've decided to go for it and commit. Just a nice little screw shot. Nudge that pink back towards me. Pretty much worked how I wanted. But unfortunately, as so often happens, this shouldn't have been a hard shot. But I just um, just saw the angle wrong. So that's going to pull her up there today, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, like I say, let me know if you enjoy this, this kind of video, and I'll get some more up. Cheers.